what's up everyone you welcome back to my channel so today's tutorial is for people who have children but find it difficult to care for or manage their natural hair so i'm sharing simple steps that i take that make our wash days less dramatic so if that is you then you definitely need to keep watching this video this is my awesome two year old and she's quite tender headed which means she doesn't like to brush comb or style her hair the style you see at the bottom left corner is the style we just took down she had this in for more than two weeks about two three to four weeks we usually wash our hair every two weeks but i was getting ready to pop and i didn't have the time or the strength right here i'm just analyzing the scalp to see if we have any dandruff or any itchy areas but so far the scalp is clean we have a couple of knots at the tip of her hair but um we don't have any dandruff or itchy areas just that the hair smells whiffy because of sweat and a lot of moisturizing you know adding water and leaving conditioners and oils so um now that i've seen that our scalp is not a problem um i'm just going to go ahead and head to the shower to wash the hair i'm not going to be detangling the hair before i head to the shower because like i said she's tender headed and i'm trying to avoid a lot of manipulation so that we don't worry so much <laughs> To wash the hair, I have some warm water in the bucket, so I'm just using a bela to scoop this. I'm not using the shower head because I'm trying to be fast so that she doesn't get tired really quickly. Now, I just go ahead to drench the hair in the water, making sure that the water gets to the roots of the hair before I apply my shampoo. The shampoo I'm going to be using today is Tresme's Smooth and Silky Shampoo. This is my go-to option whenever my local supermarket runs out of my regular Kansu shampoo. I just add a small amount of this product into another bowl and mix with water. Now this is what I do, this method I do to get the shampoo to get to the scalp so that it can really clean the scalp which is the target area for the shampoo thereby not making the hair so dry so after mixing this up i just pour this on her hair and work that in with my fingers to make sure that it's really getting into the hair next i just go in with my fingers to massage the shampoo into the scalp but firstly i have to pat her hair in two so that i can work in sections which makes it easy easily manageable for me now i'm just scrubbing with the pads of my fingers not my fingernails please we don't want any scalp injuries so i'm scrubbing the shampoo and massaging the scalp with the pads of my finger making sure that you know the shampoo is really getting in there and um as you can see from the ladder of the shampoo the hair is not so dirty so i don't need to go in for a second wash now if you look closely my focus is on scrubbing the scalp but i'm also pulling out the lengths of the hair this is a form of um, detangling so that by the time we're done washing the hair it's not just the ball of knots and tangles once i'm done scrubbing the scalp i squeeze out the excess lather and then i rinse out the shampoo before going in with my conditioner now if you're washing your children's hair this blue shower cap thingy is important because as you can see it keeps the water from dripping all over their face and you know getting shampoo and conditioner into their eyes after i rinse out the shampoo it's time for some conditioner and the conditioner we're going to be using today is also trust me um flawless curls i like this one in particular it smells awesome and it really makes the hair super soft so yeah if i'm not using this then i'm using my Cantu conditioner so i squeeze out a generous amount and then apply this on her hair working it in with my fingers on the length of the hair to make sure that you know it's really moisturized and the hair is getting really soft i do this for a couple of minutes just to get the conditioner in there and to make sure that you know the hair is a bit detangled and then i go ahead with my fingers to finger comb the hair since i'm not going to be combing this like i said i'm avoiding a lot of manipulation because she's tender headed while we were analyzing the hair after takedown, I observed that there were a lot of knots at the end of her hair. So I am going to be focusing a lot on the tips of the hair just to, you know, ease all those knots out so that when I'm ready to detangle the hair before I style it, it's easier for me to, you know, detangle. So just using my hands, I'm working that in. 
so at this point my madam was already tired she wasn't feeling this anymore and she wanted to stand rather than sit so i just let her stand i continued to walk in the conditioner a bit more but i had to wrap this up because she was as good as done so to avoid plenty plenty quarrel i just had to wash off the conditioner once we're done washing the products off i give her a bath and then i dry the hair with an old t-shirt after we're done washing the hair, I let her rest for a while, I give her something to eat, turn on her favorite shoes, and when I'm sure she's well rested, we can begin detangling. Now the hair is not completely dry, but it's not dripping wet either, and I don't use the heat on our hair. Um, I've never used heat since I was born. So first things first, I'm just spritzing the hair with some water just to get in, you know, a bit more moisture in the damp hair and then I'm just going to go ahead and detangle. To moisturize we use the LCO method which stands for liquid conditioner and oil. I've already spritzed the hair with some water which stands for our liquid. Now I'm going in with Cantu's argan oil leave-in conditioner and I'm just applying this to the parts that I've sectioned out. I'm going to be working in sections you know just so that it doesn't the entire hair i don't go ahead to moisturize the entire hair and then it dries out before i'm ready to detangle i work that into the hair gently and as you can see i'm also trying to stretch the hair as i do so from experience i prefer Cantu's leave-in conditioner with argan oil to the one with shea butter because this just leaves my hair feeling so soft and easy to um, manipulate in case you were wondering, I have never cut my daughter's hair. Um, she was born with a head full of hair. She didn't have any patches. She just didn't have a lot of edges. But I made some inquiries and I couldn't get any meaningful reason as to why you shave off a newborn's hair in some Nigerian tradition. So I didn't bother cutting her hair. I just let it grow out to a certain extent and then I trimmed off the baby hairs. After I'm done working in the conditioner, I apply some coconut oil. Now I use coconut oil because it's lightweight and it doesn't clog the scalp. But if you live in regions that have harsh weather like winter, please by all means use butters like shea butter or any other hair butter. So you pour some coconut oil on the palm of your hands, you rub and then you work that into the hair. Now I'm going to be focusing on the tips of the hair because that's the part that's easily exposed and that's the oldest part of the hair. Now I'm just using the oil to coat it and make sure that it's protected. Yeah and after working that in I'll take a wide tooth comb and detangle the hair. Please use a wide tooth comb and start from the ends of the hair pulling in opposite directions. Now in order not to put so much pressure on her scalp while I'm detangling, I'm squeezing tightly with my left hand and pulling in opposite directions. As you can see, she's already complaining but we have to do what we have to do. But yeah, I do that so that I don't put a lot of pressure on her scalp and she doesn't start crying. <laughs> you can see that we're about to really get into it right now. So yeah, this is how our detangling goes. But I just try to be gentle so that you know i understand how painful natural hair can be so i just try to you know work in smaller sections because that can also help to relieve the pressure on her scalp and please always remember to detangle from the tips before moving working your way to the base of the hair I know it looks like I'm dragging the hair a lot, but that's because this part of the video is sped up. I always try to be as gentle as possible because I have natural hair myself and I know how tough it can be. So yes, they say caring for natural hair requires a lot of love and a lot of patience, but caring for your toddler's hair requires much more love and much more patience. Now when it comes to styling her hair, I prefer styles that are easy to install and easy to take down because this madam is not going to sit with you through plenty plenty wahala except you don't want to finish on the same day i wanted to do um single plates for her you know to stretch out the hair but i thought about it i said ah, when it's time for take down this madam is not going to let you take this down in a day so i opted for two strand twists instead because we have taken time to properly moisturize and detangle the hair you can see how easy 
it is to comb out hair now don't get me wrong girl. we had our fair share of fights and quarrels throughout this process there was a lot of mommy i'm not your friend leave it leave me alone i want to sleep but yeah you can see how easy this is to comb out so yes don't skip your detangling and moisturizing process guys it's really really important Growing up, I had a lot of unpleasant experiences with relaxers, even from a very young age. I quickly resolved that if I ever had a daughter, I would not put her through all those struggles as well. This is one of the reasons I decided to go natural five years ago, because I wanted to understand how to properly care for the natural hair, so that if I had a daughter in the future, I would understand how to care for her hair properly. We do not use any special hair growth oils, but there are some that I intend to try in the near future. I'll keep you guys posted on how that goes. Once I'm done making the hair, I apply some coconut oil to the scalp. I add some rubber bands and beads to the end of the hair and that's it. Now within the week, the hair might tend to lose some moisture and get dry. So we just basically moisturize using our LCO method. I just spritz some water on the hair and massage that into the hair that serves as our liquid and then I apply some leave-in conditioner and massage that into the hair as well. I then apply some coconut oil, I rub that all over the strands of the hair, you know, just to lock in all that moisture and then I now apply some coconut oil to the scalp as well. To each line on the scalp I apply some coconut oil. Not to forget the edges, I applied some edge control and then I just brushed that. This is a point where you can lay your baby hairs but we don't care for such so <laughs> we just brushed that and that will be all. So guys, these are the easy steps that help us get through Fro Care Day. Now if you enjoyed watching this video, you learned something new or you found it helpful, please smash the subscribe button down below, leave us comments in the comment sections and give this video a thumbs up. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!